What's up guys, if you've been watching my channel for the past few years, you probably know that I have heaped praise on AMD for what they have done with their Ryzen line of CPUs from the first through the third generation. Now the tech world is anxiously awaiting the fourth generation of Ryzen CPUs, the 5000 series based on the new Zen 3 microarchitecture. But amidst all the details that were confirmed back at the beginning of October, there was a bit of news that I think deserves further scrutiny. AMD stated that while AM4 socket motherboards with 500 series chips sets like B550 and X570 will support the new CPUs like the 5900X and 5800X right out of the gates, the previous gen 400 series motherboards such as those with the popular and affordable B450 chipset will not, at least not for a couple months until January 2021. That is at least a two month wait and we all know that tech enthusiasts aren't necessarily the most patient group out there. So does this mean that AMD has canceled Christmas for B450 owners? Excellent. Corsair has new cases. The 4000 series presents a solid mix of looks, functionality, and affordability for new and veteran PC builders alike. A spacious interior and the rapid route cable management guides make for easy assembly with room for up to 620 millimeter or 440 millimeter fans. The 4000D Airflow features an optimized airflow focused front panel while the IQ 4000 exports sexy tempered glass panels and is RGB ready with the included lighting node core. Click the sponsor link in the description for more. So back in May 2020, when AMD was launching their B550 chipset motherboards, they also tried to quietly announce that a 500 series chipset motherboard would be required for these new CPUs based on Zen 3, the newly designed seven nanometer core architecture that will be powering the upcoming 5000 series processors. This led to a public outcry from 400 series motherboard owners who had been anticipating a next gen CPU upgrade from AMD that wouldn't require a new mainboard. The upgrade path options on AM4 have after all been a major selling point, something I have pointed to quite a few times as I've been recommending them, especially for home builders. Fortunately, AMD relented, changed course and promised support for these 400 series owners and people put their pitchforks away. But now B450 and X470 owners have another dilemma when the 5600X, 5800X, 5900X, and 5950X launch in less than two weeks. They can buy a 500 series motherboard if they want immediate support or they can wait two months until maybe January when AMD tells us beta BIOSes will be available for 400 series boards that will support the new chips. Now in a year when a lot of people are looking for something, anything positive to cling to, having yet another tangible tantalizing and exciting piece of PC hardware launch, but then be unable to actually purchase one, get one or use it in any way is, is just very disappointing. And, and yes, I'm directly referring to the disappointing RTX 3080 launch. But why though? Why would AMD make this decision? Do they have any actual reasoning behind it? Well, there's sort of this cynical answer from the consumer perspective, and that is that, well, they wanna push more B550 and X570 motherboard sales. Remember that AMD and motherboard manufacturers are in something of a symbiotic relationship and long socket cycles on a platform like AM4, which is very popular with consumers, do mean fewer motherboards sold since people can do an in-socket CPU upgrade. Anyone building a new system with Zen 3 will be much more likely to buy a 500 series chipset board, which usually costs $160 and up for a decent one, instead of going for a B450 option, which can cost $100 to $120. It's a much better bang for the buck if you don't need PCI Express 4.0. The prospect of selling more and more expensive motherboards to people who don't want to wait has potential appeal for both AMD and board partners. Realistically though, there are logistical issues to contend with as well, since there are a huge number of different model 400 series and 500 series motherboards on the market with even more expected to launch along with Zen 3 processors. If we wanna give board partners the benefit of the doubt, the delay would give their software engineers more time to write and test new code and validate it across a wide range of existing motherboards. It is common practice for these companies to work on support for the newest boards first and then work their way back to older models and with the 400 series boards there is the added complication of legacy support for older Ryzen CPUs. These B450 motherboards are going to have an older BIOS that supports first, second, and third gen Ryzen and then there's going to be a newer BIOS that drops that first gen support in order to add support for 5000 series CPUs. And from what I've heard that BIOS update will be a one-way upgrade but uh, we'll wait to confirm that once they're actually launched. Now I could have wrapped this video up here with some divisive commentary about how consumers are getting screwed over by AMD meant to play on people's emotions and get the kind of visceral response that seems to drive the internet and views these days. But instead, I decided to stretch my tech journalism muscles just a little bit and
and actually ask AMD and the board partners for their take on the matter. Mostly, I wanted to find out if there is an actual hard date set by AMD for releasing these BIOS updates in question. Unfortunately, it sounds like there isn't, but here are the questions I asked. My questions for AMD were, have any motherboard manufacturers communicated to you that they would be unable to write UEFI updates for 400 series motherboards in a timely fashion for the Zen 3 5000 series CPU launch? And that might be due to timing or developer limitations, probably not due to conflicts with Intel development because uh, their launch has been pushed back to like March 2021. Getting sidetracked though, my second question was, is the January 2021 date a lowest common denominator, sort of universal ETA amongst all the motherboard manufacturers that you've talked to based on the timelines that they provided, or is it a release date that was set by AMD? And then finally, perhaps most importantly, if a motherboard manufacturer has a 5000 series ready BIOS for a B450 or X470 board before January 2021, are they allowed to release it? And that last question, as mentioned, I think is probably the most important as it determines whether it's sort of an artificial time limit that was set by AMD or if it's just supposed to be guidance based on expectations communicated by the board partners. AMD was kind enough to respond. They said, January is the time frame we expect wide adoption and availability for the BIOS on 400 series boards. It is the lowest common denominator date to use my phrasing, considering the number of models in the market. Since there is no hard date for the BIOS release from ODMs, it will naturally vary by board and ODM. It is true that some motherboards may be ready sooner, but our highest priority is giving the general public a realistic schedule based on our conversations with our partners. Our public guidance remains January 2021 for beta BIOS on 400 series. So ODM means original design manufacturer, by the way, but uh, this does appear to be good news. There is no hard date for the BIOS release from ODMs would indicate that they can release them whenever they are ready. To clarify, I followed up and asked, since you mentioned that there's no hard date, would a company like Asus, for example, be able to say all of our 400 series boards are Ryzen 5000 ready in mid-November or December or whenever they were comfortable doing that? Or might a partner like MSI with a very popular model like the B450 Tomahawk come out with a special delivery BIOS just for that board, maybe a week or two after the 5000 series launches? The answer here is, we have put no embargo on releasing BIOSes. However, based on our conversations with partners, January is the safe all-around date. And then reiterated that AMD's official comment and position is that AMD anticipates the first beta releases for AMD 400 series motherboards starting in January 2021. Okay, so that sounds good. And next I talked to Asus, MSI, and Gigabyte to see if they can provide any details on their plans. My questions for them were, were, does your BIOS building team, or whatever you call them, have the bandwidth to create B450 and X470 updates earlier than January by perhaps November or December? If yes, are you able to release them or is this timing mandated by AMD? And then if you have a 5000 series ready BIOS for a B450 or X470 board before January 2021, can you or will you release it? So can you do it? Are you allowed to do it? Will you do it? And since AMD already confirmed that they are not restricting the release, the answer to question two is yes. So they are able to. To keep things simple, here are the semi-confirmed and yes, a bit vague timelines from each of the board partners I spoke to. MSI said, it depends on when AMD releases the BIOS. And I think what they mean is the AGISA code or the microcode that AMD puts out that the board partners then sort of wrap up in their BIOS packages. They expect to have that in November. And in that case, they say they could release the MSI BIOS by December. Note that they say could, they are not confirming any dates here. Gigabyte said a similar thing. Their target is November, but it will be ready before January. So yeah, they're gonna try to get it done early, but they're not really making any promises. And then Asus said, well, actually I had a phone call with Asus and we talked about a lot of interesting stuff, but for the 400 series BIOS releases, they still aren't confirming a date beyond AMD's January estimate. Although they did say that if they're able to get them ready sooner, they will go ahead and release them. Asus is also revamping a set of their existing B450 motherboards, dubbing them B452. And they said all of these boards will support the USB BIOS flashback feature that allows you to update in order to support these 5000 series CPUs without even needing a CPU or memory installed, which is a nice feature. If you want more on motherboard features that I think are cool, check out my video on that. So to kind of round things out, if you check out the slide from the Hexus.net article that I have linked in the description, it's uh, talking about Asus and some of the 400 series BIOS stuff, but it indicates that there's two AGISA code versions. That's CPU microcode from AMD again. One is called version 1.0.8.0, and that seems to support posting and booting with a Zen 3 CPU. And then there's a newer version 1.1.0.0, which is pitched as the best 
best experience version, which means it will actually enable full performance of the new chips. So if you're a B450 or X470 owner and you want to upgrade to a Ryzen 5000 series CPU, be on the lookout for your motherboard manufacturer to release a BIOS update with a GSA version 1.1.0.0 or newer. So if you're getting your new CPU for Christmas then, or before then, will you be able to actually use it if you have a 400 series motherboard? That will be up to your motherboard manufacturer, and I would say that it's worth your while to let them know that that is what you're waiting on via social media or whatever other communication method seems most appropriate to you. Customer feedback caused AMD to change course back in May when they weren't planning on supporting Zen 3 at all on 400 series, and the same kind of push could encourage board partners to accelerate development of the new UEFI versions. It is, after all, a software update that is usually distributed for free, and I know there are some manufacturers in particular that uh, could use a bit of positive PR. So maybe if one board partner comes out and says, all of our boards are ready by Thanksgiving or something like that, others will feel the heat to get their updates out as well. That is all the time I have for this video though, you guys, and while I know I wasn't able to get you solid release dates for the UEFI updates or anything, hopefully this helps explain the situation and what expectations you should have in the next month or two. If you know anyone who has a 400 series board and is unaware of the extra weight that they might be in store for if they want a 5000 series CPU, please share this video with them and let me know in the comments what your particular setup is and if you're planning to upgrade it yourself. Also a closing reminder to check out my store at paulshardware.net for merch, uh, shirts, pint glasses, other cool stuff to buy. And of course, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and we'll see you guys in the next one.